Okay, so today I just want to go ahead and talk a little bit about um, me using Fedora and Wayland Pipewire, how it's been. Um, so if you're someone who is, you know, completely new to Linux and you're wondering what the hell I'm talking about. Um, so for the longest time, um, we had Xorg, which is a display server. So it sort of manages, you know, displaying, you know, your picture wallpaper all that stuff to your screen um and xorg in a lot of people's opinions uh is you know old bloated it it just the way it works could be better and streamlined um and so that's what wayland has been attempting to do for a long time um and that being said also pulse audio what we've used to route audio on Linux um, for the longest time is also, you know, it's got its issues. And so Pipewire attempts to fix that ordeal. And Pipewire and um, uh, Pipewire and literally now I'm forgetting, uh, Wayland are both, you know, defaults on Fedora. And OBS has recently been updated. So it has Wayland support and it works. I can just go ahead and click on over here and show you. I've got, you know, my camera and, you know, I can pop around in here and I don't know, we can load up the software center. And here's one thing that I will say after I did an update, um, we have, um, I can go ahead and uh, do a search for OBS and it'll actually show up here. Um, when I first installed it, that wasn't there. It didn't show up. Don't know why. Don't know the heck was going on. But any hooses. Yeah, that's a thing. Um, also, um, before I go any further in talking about Fedora and everything, Wayland and Pipewire have been just fine. I've experienced, you know, a few audio hiccups, like, you know, my devices changing um, randomly. Um, especially, you know, after a reboot, um, I, I had the same issues in Pulse Audio, so it's really no different. So Pipewire and Pulse Audio, um, I don't really see a benefit, um, in switching to Pipewire right now. At least for me, the experience has been essentially the same as Pulse Audio. So yeah, who cares? Um, when it comes to Wayland, Wayland's been nice. Um, again, don't really know a difference between it compared to Xorg. They both just display my screens and yeah, they work fine. Um, and now that OBS works in Wayland, I've had no issue um, using it and could care less. Here's the thing. I will go ahead and say this. Um, here in um, Fedora, I have had, let me, ooh, I was on my other monitor. So hold on, let me pull my files over here. I was having a little bit of an issue where let's just say I load up another window and um, put it over this right here. It like sometimes the shadowing behind it will look all scurry in um, um, the recording and here on the desktop um, while I'm recording. Um, but yeah, that's a, very minor issue. Um, so yeah, there's really, really no big problems or ordeals. I like that they just work. It's, it's nice. Um, I would love it if Pipewire didn't have any of the issues that came with Pulse Audio, but eh. now when it comes to my experience, just Fedora, talking about Fedora here, I'm not the biggest Fedora fan ever. I'm just not. This fedora has won me over, but it still has its problems. I, I love GNOME 40 being the default. I love the minimal amount of apps. I mean, it does come with LibreOffice, but like, let's be honest, if you're going to be, I mean, if you're over the age of 20, you're probably going to be working with documents at least occasionally. And so it's nice to have an you know, an office suite and just installed for if you need it. So coming with LibreOffice, I don't consider that bloat whatsoever. So 
you know, a minimal amount of programs installed out of the box. Like it. I like just the plain GNOME um, feel of Fedora. I love that I encrypted my drive easily. It looks nice when it boots up. It's got a nice uh, UEFI like boot mint, like boot screen and all that stuff. It looks very nice. The only thing that I absolutely hate about this Fedora is the updates and the way they're handled. The updates are essentially Windows updates. Um, almost every time the operating system needs to do any updates, it has to restart. And so you have to like literally fully reboot the computer and it goes through a nice UFI, like, you know, looking screen, installing the updates. It looks all nice. It looks almost like Mac-like. It looks very designery, like very well designed. I'll just put it like that. That being said, the first update that I had to do after I installed um, this Fedora install was, I mean, it took like two minutes. It, it felt like a, a legit Windows and update installed. And I was like, what is this? I thought this is Linux. So, I mean, I don't really like that. I know that as Linux gets more and more professional and just more competitive, I guess, in the desktop space, I, I hope that we will see nice updates like this, you know, like when it needs to, I, I'm not complaining that my computer has to reboot to do some updates. I'm not, I, I'm it, nowhere in here is it automatically turning my computer off and installing the updates or anything. It's completely manual. I choose it. I like that. Um, the only thing, the only thing that I would love to see done is ensuring that when you're going to do those updates, that the update progress bar is very accurate because right now it's not very accurate whatsoever. It can, it'll like hang at places. I, and that makes me just feel uncomfortable if they would make it just put in some effort, make sure it, you know, it's very accurate and ensure that those updates Whenever you're going to reboot, even if you haven't updated in a while, make sure that those in, those types of upgrades and stuff don't take too long. I know that's a big ask, but just hopefully in the future, as this stuff matures, um, I don't want to see it completely go away because I know there are reasons for updates needing to be, you know, installed as a re reboot thing. I, I can. I'm not going to argue with that whatsoever. Just make sure it's done in a timely fashion and make sure that progress bar does not mislead me or make me worried for any reason. That's all I ask. So let me know what you think. Um, and yeah, if you like this video, if it, you know, interests you, uh, definitely, you know, give it a little bit of support. Um, if you're watching this over on Odyssey, you can literally give support. If you're, you know, watching this on YouTube, just, share it with somebody. Um, by the way, I've, again, I've been saying this for a little bit, but I don't know when I'm going to do it, but here before too long, I'll probably just stop posting to YouTube. So if you like my videos and want to see more of me, definitely check me out, check me out over on Odyssey if I can talk. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching the video. I'll see you in the next one. And, uh, thank all of you guys for supporting, watching and being really nice. So yeah, see ya.